St. Vincent's has a reputation for attracting very qualified people, but people who really do see deeply into the healing profession and want to be a part of it. They do feel a sense of, of calling or a sense of uh, desire to help others and to reach out to their fellow human being. The problem is the stressors of everyday life sometimes can start interfering with what that original purpose uh, happened to be. It's pretty hectic. Can you open your eyes? I've got to go back in and uh, do some of the paperwork. Same business information. Not always easy. I just get fried. Are we staying on schedule? Are you diabetic? You've got to get out of the setting because it's too tense. Seven. Uh-huh. You can't give what you don't have. And once it's all drained out of you, it's very difficult then to give to other people. We get so busy in our day-to-day -day life in the hospital, it's difficult to take that time out. They wear their masks many times in their professional roles. It's important that they never lose touch with who they are as someone who chose this profession. That's what Seton Cove is about. Seton Cove is a very special and sacred place. The idea of Seton Cove is to have a place that's inspirational, where people can come from work and maybe be touched by whatever God has in mind. It's a place and a respite for the healthcare worker, the physician, and those affiliated uh, with St. Vincent to come and get revitalized. Seton Cove does bring some humanity back uh, to our practices, uh, and it's easy to forget that when you get uh, on the treadmill that we uh, are off and on. All you have to do is drive into the grounds of Seton Cove and there's a certain feeling that comes over you. Everything is quiet. And when you get inside the door, there is no question that something is here that you want to be a part of. This is a beautiful building. There are many little coves and nooks and crannies. There's a lake out back. There's so many places to go and reflect. You come in with that steel armor uh, that you've built up all these years, and within about two minutes, it's totally stripped away. I could just kind of swing my feet and be me and, and not be an adult or not be responsible for anything, but enjoy that little kid feeling. There's just a sense of peace and calm and, and awe. almost like when you walk into a beautiful church. Holy One of Blessing, your presence fills the universe. Your presence fills us. Amen. I think one of the things about Seton Cove that we hope is there when we have any group gather 
is that they feel like uh, when they sit around the table or around a group of chairs that it is a safe place. It taught me um, how to slow down because life, you don't need to be hurrying all the time. If you uh, feel like sharing some of that about your faith tradition, then we're welcome to hear that, but that we're not going to be talking about religion. Uh, what we will talk about is spirituality. Well, it's like if you were sitting outside today, you know, eating your lunch, did you feel that breeze coming through, that nice breeze? And did you feel the sunshine and see the ducks on the water and the current on the water? And just to be able to relax and laugh and talk with your peers, that's spirituality. It brings out the thoughts probably some concepts you've never thought about for years and years and years. Seton Cove provides opportunities through some of our programming to try to help people find meaning and purpose in life, but also to find balance in their lives, to have, have times where they are able to have recreation or recreation in the context of their families and outside the hospital too. Being in a place like that in the pastoral setting uh, that it provides just allows you to relax, step back, look at what you're doing, both personally what you do and how you interact with others. Our next retreat at Seton Cove will be January 25th. What Seton Cove is doing is giving our residents an opportunity to fully realize the spiritual dimension of practicing medicine. They do not get that in, in medical school um, or in any of their other training. You're looking a little smushed. We met and had dialogue and discussion about who we are, what we do, how does God relate to that. You've been here before. Yeah. I recognize the name. Yeah. I think spirituality helps us to stay focused, to be more compassionate to each other, to be more compassionate with our patients, more patient with our doctors. It's just everything working together. So it'll be just a few minutes more to wait and then we'll get you back upstairs. You know how to work that bed, don't you? I believe the spirituality here is in our ability to live the mission, to live the core values, and to see the whole person. When you look at a person as something other than, a, than the guy in room 22, then you begin to see the essence of the Creator in him. I think it is, it is a wonderful experience for any level worker, wherever you are in the organization. Yeah. Kind of a reminder of what we're all here and what we're all about. I'm a big believer in God, but I've, I've been away from him for quite some time. And uh, it's kind of brought me back. I'm better with my family, with my friends, and here I think they're changing. And it's me that has changed. Seton Cove gave me that. I think it built a lot of bridges. Oh, this is fine. Yes. Yes. It's a getaway from all the hustles and bustles of life that, that makes the stress. I think it helps me now to kind of regroup if it's a hectic day. I'll let your nurse know upstairs, we'll get you a ride. Seton Cove does represent uh, the commitment of St. Vincent's to holistic medicine and I think it's one of those things that sets it apart. It is meaningful eh, that we really do in fact touch other people in many different ways. I could talk all day about what I feel by coming here, but I don't think you can truly understand unless you've gone through it. Anyone can go to unwind, to regroup, and just be silent. You hear messages that you really don't hear every day. Seton Cove is a place of nourishment, a place of development, a place of fulfillment.
in a real place of peace.